those rune pillars, those Juno slimes, they can become really hard to pass. And like the Asher, sometimes you can't even get up there towards the goal. Right, and we saw it firsthand. George Mason struggled to deal with that it's level the of run disruption. Back again. I I love this, <laughs> but we got we have a three zero one way, we have a three zero the other way. This is game three at the first official Omega Strikers Collegiate land here at Shenandoah University. Collegiate Striker Showdown. Money match, third place. Winner walks away with $100 for their team. Okay, thing I need to point out right away. Aerials was offered to these players because Juno just acro jumped across the map, specifically Wiggly Wobbly. Really? So that is already huge. Wow, yeah, look at that. Huge. Yeah. But also, we have not seen this map on the broadcast, and we talk about two of these goal, uh, I was about to call them posts, but they, there's only one on this map. The goals open quickly. There's just a well in the middle. Okay, right. Yeah, and that's something I want to mention. Don't be deceived by the three hearts on the thing. There's only one goal barrier on this map, and it's honestly kind of easy compared to the others, in my opinion. So it. It's really going to be about these large goal defenses. Yeah, it's, there's really nothing special to it, but so it begins. Vega already finding his first goal right in the face of Fluffy Waffles, and this needs to be addressed. But here are our... Oh, it's... Yes, it's not error. So there's oh. multiple that increase the dash, blink, and haste. So it's going to be Super Surge, Chrono Boost, and Aerials. Those will all increase about the same. They just have different secondary effects. Yeah. Interesting. Well, sure enough, same we're effect. seeing the value yeah. as the core flip comes out from Kai and lands on nothing. But Asher has a core flip, core flip the of other her way. own. Yeah. There's that Juno leap. Look how far that goes. Look how much you're able Ooh. to get away with as Rune uses that core flip to send it right back at that Juno. Yeah, and you see the core flip doesn't just have to be used to flip the core. You're you right. can KO people with it. You can get creative. Ooh. That's a nice save from the Kai. There, another nice save, not wow. touching somehow. Three in a row pixel perfect saves from Fluffy Waffles. But yeah, I mean, you said it like with these specific goal barriers, I mean, smack in the middle of your goal. There's only one. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, although, I mean, we're seeing heroic saves from Kai. Oh. As another oh. one sneaks past the he's angle. Gonna, he's going to send it the whole way back. What a goal in overtime to tie this game one in this money match. I thought that was going to be a goal barrier, much less a goal on the other side. Yeah. Wow. A, I would have lost a bet. Um. <laughs> oh, and again, just sneaking past behind the back of the... Uh, the goal wall. barrier, and that one breaks finally. As and, oh, 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 what a nice save by Fluffy Waffles, barely from the clutches of the Asher and the Juno. Yeah, now wow. we're seeing Vega when they have this pressure is doing so much, but when they're in this middle ground by the well, we've seen them knocked out a couple of times in this round already. There goes Fluffy, there, no, there goes Wiggly Wobbly. In the middle of the map, oh, wow. the Juno leap going across the well and gets a score the other way. And we're seeing that super surge increasing that dash range so he can get there from seemingly across the map. Just suddenly being able to punch that in on the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh. From a passive playstyle to an active playstyle where you are in your opponent's face. As I mean, look at the pressure from both sides. These goal barriers aren't lasting long. Yeah, and the map just feels so wide open when these goal barriers fall, and it's it's deceptive. That black hole in the middle it plays a massive part in every part of this game. But I mean, it's so easy to knock down these goal barriers and knock open the goal, and it, it really does make it anyone's anyone's game. God, look at that Juno leap able to just cover so much ground and when you're playing the goalie and you think your option is safe oh, suddenly it's feeling a little bit more rough yeah and this is sort of what i was talking about earlier that once it the core gets on the other side of the field the juno and the rune are just able to seal it off so much oh. as wiggly wobbly puts one in putting the pressure back on 
Yeah, wiggly wobbly making Kai's ankles wiggly wobble because that was disgusting. I mean, he crossed him up bad after a gorgeous pass from Vega to set all that up. Great, great play from Wiggly Wobbly. Yeah, I mean, look at this pressure on Asher off the top. Oh, oh my goodness. Really nice slime to put that in. They were too focused on the Asher on the top side where Wiggly Wobbly just puts one in. Wow, no surprise here. MVP goes to Wiggly Wobbly, and now we need to... Okay, we need to Ooh, think. Oh, man. If Rune isn't going for Castellas, I... Well, Sweet. no, there are good options here. Juno has a couple good options, and she goes for Stinger. That's surprising to me. So the other Juno <laughs> now has options between Castellas and Timeless Creator. Ops for Castellas. We do see Big Fish fall to Dubu. That makes sense. Um, Asher ops for Stagger Swagger. Now, one thing I'm curious about is why the Dubu didn't actually let the Asher have Big Fish, though they're good on both. I'm not sure about the Stagger Swagger. That's, that's, that's a good point. Fair. We'll have to see how much it impacts it later. This Asher already losing most of their health and gone, gone off the top again. Yeah, and she's just dead. Like, the swag, <laughs> Swagger Stagger is not going to do anything if you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing it in full force right now. Right now, this Asher, we know they have an aggressive play style. We know that they want to play in people's face. But... They also now don't have much HP while these other players are beginning to scale. Oh, but wow. this Juno Wiggly Wobbly still putting in points left, right, and center. And it's it's hard for me to keep track, but is Fluffy Waffles using his projectiles a little recklessly? Is that why he keeps getting caught letting in goals on the far side of his, of his goal? Yeah, <laughs> like, and I'm not sure because he also had a... Juno slime right next to him from his own teammate, so I wasn't sure if he thought he was fine. Thought he was fine where he was and was able to save it and just slips right through. Yeah. yeah well, we are seeing it is a little bit early. We see it there. Oh, oh nice oh, patience. Man. Yeah, using the core flip to get the core away from Old Miss's goal. We do see Kai with a core flip here. And oh, dangerous. Could come out now, but he's not going to use it. He will die for it. Lose his core flip and let up a goal that is catastrophic for Ole Miss. Oh man, GMU is starting to look pretty. Yeah, there's a rumble, there's a storm brewing, oh. and its name is Asher because this has been overwhelming. I mean, this game it has been a lot of wiggly wobbly, and I don't want to downplay the Juno play right now from both sides, really. Uh, but overall, I mean. Ole Miss has not had the answer that we were expecting them to have. And it's, it's starting to get out of control fast. I think part of it is the fact that we see Ole Miss is playing very clumped. Two characters with so much range, and yet they're not utilizing the fact that they can cover so much space. Oh, as, oh wow. my god, that's mean. That's just mean. <laughs> yeah, and the Kai not able to get there because he's just stunned by the Asher E, the Asher O. Like, what is he to do? He can't get there. And a nicely played shot by Wiggly Wobbly, though. And, oh and such great goodness. coordination, such great communication from the side of George Mason to say, hey, I can lock this guy down if you just launch a Hail Mary at the other side of the goal. He will not be able to answer it. And putting trust in your teammate both ways. <laughs> Asher trusting the Juno to make the shot and Juno trusting the Asher to not let Kai out of his little cage. <laughs> um I mean, great, great stuff we're seeing here today. Yeah, and we'll, we see how important it is to win that set. We see both Junos at the front, but the first one gets prime time, which is incredible on Juno. It lets you have an extra slime charge to throw out and just have on the field to uh, put pressure on. I mean, right now, and we saw it again, Asher sacked the potential wow. for getting unstoppable for hitting the core harder. We see the little hot pepper on the top right. They know that right now their goal is to hit hard and see what happens. I I don't have the answer. I mean, I said it after game two. I, I don't know the answer to Asher, and we're seeing it now. I this, this character, this pick, this player is so overwhelming and uh, Ole Miss needs to find an answer soon, and maybe the answer is to kill her as she does fall staggered. 
Yeah, and that is oh. actually where the Stagger Swagger comes into play, as we see some just Asher just <laughs> trying to put pressure on. All right. Yeah, Asher's definitely got a little bit oh. of protection. Oh, oh my god. Send my. that man to the hospital. His ankles are broken. <laughs> this oh, is, no, this man. Is, oh, I don't know. I mean, Fluffy Waffles is playing well. I, I really hope that isn't getting lost in all of this Asher chaos. Um, but Yeah, there just, she goes. Oh, okay. So we'll see. Is this the answer? I mean, Ole Miss needs to score three oh. times in a row. Now oh. two, to, two more times to stay oh. alive in this series, alive in this money match. And I, here, could this be the start to something great? Yeah, and that's what we were just talking about, Kane. They Asher, and then they score. I think yeah. they found their answer, but it's so hard to do because you have to get her staggered. But with that stagger swagger, she recovers so fast. That double pillar doing so much damage to the Asher. Yeah, and we're seeing the value right now. We saw a little Ooh. bit of start and Yari beginning to separate, and that value that comes from it. You don't need to bait your opponent as much anymore on the fact that you can cover so much ground. You need to be covering it immediately. This game is moving too fast. But and now we here see. Here comes Asher. <laughs> yeah, Rune is looking for that goal. Oh, and Kai is. able to save it. Throwing the shot down. The blob able to send it back. Asher's looking for that mean setup once again. But now Juno getting a little bit close. Wiggly wobbly. There's uh, the wall from okay. Asher. It's all beginning to rack up, but a lot of cooldowns were just blown. Yeah, nobody particularly close to a core flip anytime soon. So this will be just a lot of just raw abilities and skill. Oh, wow. my goodness. Squeaking by such a huge dubu. And, man, I... Are we seeing the start of something great? Uh, <laughs> Ole Miss hope. needs one more to stay alive in this series and reset the game score to 0-0 zero, zero in the series to 2-1. But Ole Miss's goal is early open. Early goal barrier down for Ole Miss. But oh, Ole return Miss is the able favor. to respond. Here comes Asher. Oh, not quite. And we see possession fall back. Yeah, not really to anyone. <laughs> Or, wow. And now Rune able to keep up just a little bit. There's the Asher sending it up towards the Juno. Great clear there by oh, Fluffy. Oh, nice oh. pillar! I didn't even see it, but a great pillar from start on that signature Rune. We've said his name a couple times now, but Yachty gets MVP, and I think that's totally fair. Scoring those first two goals, and hey, all of a sudden, Oh, Ole Miss man. is right here. Yeah, I mean, it's real. <laughs> George Mason needs to shake that off, right? You were just one goal away from winning third, pay, third place prize money. But, I mean, you're still up in the series two to one. Um, oh, my goodness. Kai with the glass cannon again. Ooh, I'm man. getting flashbacks. Yeah, if we could get our observer to, to take a quick peek at Awakenings. Um, maybe between the next round, but uh, I, I do want to see what all he has because I, I haven't been keeping track of him as much as the body else. Asher's just... so low again. They're taking so much damage. So maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's the answer we've been looking for is to just kill her or at least throw her around so that she can't play her own game yeah. because this whole time she has been in a game of her own. Now, look, when, they, when Yachty and Start spread out, we're seeing the value. We see that the core is on the right side of the field for the most part, but it's when they begin to clump up that that's when Vega and Wiggly Wobbly are beginning to put up that pressure. Ooh. But now it's beginning to return tenfold as it bounces around the awkward bits of this Wiggly Wobbly still alive. Oh, what the is going Juno on? The slime able to shoot it into George Mason's goal. Ole Miss is up 1-0, and we may be seeing it, Chris. It might be happening again. Oh, my Lord. We get a quick look at Awakenings, and we appreciate that. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at, yeah, what Kai had. He does have Unstoppable, oh. which I did not know. But he does find a pick with his Giga Blast on two um, Wiggly Wobbly, excuse me. But see if Spartan can stall it out. He's been very good at these number disadvantage plays. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing it again. Okay, start and Yachty Ooh. again. Just playing a little close. They really want to give Asher the respect that Asher deserves. But now that Asher's low, I think we'll see Yachty begin to spread out. Yep, there it is. Rune's going to be looking for the KO while getting these setups. 
It's going to be a matter of Asher getting a little bit of that poke in. Rune with the core flip, looking for something, gets it past, shoots it straight oh, up, gets past nice the dude. I gotta say, Nolan, welcome to this part of the broadcast. This is, uh, <laughs> this is where this things This has been get. electric yeah. all day, and I'm glad you get to be a part of one of oh, these. Oh, it's been electric out in the arena as well. So many hype plays today, and we're seeing it here. Oh Man. my goodness, and look at that. Wiggly Wobbly already losing so much Ooh. health. Vega, below half. This pressure already, the fact that they're beginning to space out, the fact that now we're seeing the value, now it's all starting to boil up. These awakenings are starting to influence this game to a drastic level, and now I think is where we see the true value of these characters shine. Man, I, oh, the dream scenario for this to go 3-0 one way, 3-0 the other way, and the deciding Game? Oh my. Goes to. Oh, and the oh banish on the Dubu! Wow! A great timing from start to send this to point number five, or game number five. Wow! This is first to three wins $100 for their team. This is the dream. Focus, we have a game. We Holy have a game. Moly. Oh my goodness. I, this event has been spectacular and I'm so, so glad that the first Omega Strikers official LAN, this Collegiate Striker Showdown is turning out to be everything we ever dreamed of. I'm so proud of all the students that helped put this on, all the students in the broadcast room putting this all together and we're not even in grand finals and I'm getting sappy. Yeah. This is amazing. Now I do want to point out as we see those awakenings that just came into play, a lot of characters got awakenings that they would enjoy but look how far Juno's slimes go now. Yachty's slimes are going the distance, but we see this Asher pressure again. Oh. It's coming back in full force. Yeah, Vega did not go anywhere. Ole Miss may have scored two games in a row, but Vega on this Asher is absolutely still here to win. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that's one of the consequences of really grouping up the Juno slimes, it summons as many slimes as there are enemies in the ulti. So you just have five slimes there. You have the Asher wall, you have Asher herself. It's just too much. Yeah, and now we're seeing that pressure build up again. Dubu doing a great job of being that wall for that one goal barrier. But look at oh Asher's hell. Wow. And that comes from the specialized training that Kai just picked up off the Awakenings draft. Yeah, smart, smart building from Kai, but he does have his core flip here. We might be forced to use it. Never oh, mind. We're Let's seeing, get cleared away. We're Rune. seeing Rune's core flip potentially. Right. Yes, we have two core flips from the side of Ole Miss, but every player in this game is very close to having their core flip as Asher gets blasted again. Juno's oh. core flip just came up, but she oh, uses it for knockback. Yeah, Wiggly Wobbly loses it, but now we see Yachty's. Now oh, we see Rune's. my lord! Oh my goodness. What is going on? Vega is staggered, but it's not taken off the map just yet. Oh, oh my goodness. Vega. Passed right to Vega. Vega is here to win. We just saw every core flip used at the same time. And look at Vega's core flip now. Oh, that is very no close way. to coming back. She may be forced to use it to survive here. Okay, never mind. But no. holes are open already, and this is, oh, this is it for Ole Miss. Now goals open on both oh. sides, and Ole Miss strikes back. We have two to one. If George Mason scores one more goal, that's it. But Ole Miss is not going anywhere. And that super surge blob bounce from Gino really going the distance, really able to cover a lot of ground on the Ole Miss side. <gasps> oh, 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 she got it. God, that was wow. evil. That Vega wild. puts it away for George Mason. Waves goodbye to Old Miss. And George Mason, Vega,